How's it going guys? So we're here for our monthly Rust update and this is going to be our first monthly Rust update. So as you've seen, I've put out some videos whenever there is new content, like I said, I would be covering it. But uh, the monthly roundup is going to pretty much be, you know, the dev blog, cover everything they show in there and kind of get the ball rolling with all of that stuff. So first thing, what has changed in the environment? So usually whenever there's a monthly update, the reason the map wipes is because they've done some changes to the environment. Now we've got some new bushes that are in and uh, the, you can kind of go through uh, the forest biome and so forth and you'll see there's just some thicker, better looking bushes other than just these ones here you're seeing in the desert. And uh, those are actually quite nice. And uh, it gives a little more potential to hide, be sneaky, and uh, you know, it's it doesn't seem like something important, but it really is if you kind of pay attention to stealth and just don't go, you know, running in gung ho. The other thing is oak trees are coming back, and this might sound like something that's really not that special, but uh, I've always loved them. They look great. Uh, I grew up in California, so oak trees are kind of the thing I was used to, and I love them in Rust. They're just so big and awesome looking, and as you can see, the new ones are looking great. Uh, if you haven't, if you didn't know ahead of time, uh, Rust was using obviously just default assets and uh, they were just very costly, they weren't very performance happy, and they basically are replacing them with their own handcrafted stuff, uh, using all the new speed tree assets and everything, and you know, I'm no expert on it, so you know, I'm not going to go into extreme detail about it, but they're making their own trees and it's just helping the performance and they look beautiful, so that is something that's going on there as you can see in all these little pictures that have been scrolling as i've been talking about it the next thing here is the basically we've gotten a few little buffs so as you see the nail gun here in my hand a lot of people have been complaining it's not really good enough and uh, i think help nailed it uh, as he was talking in the dev blog he said it just kind of felt like the nails kind of lag behind when you actually pull the trigger so he went ahead and uh, worked on that and up the fire rate of the nail gun. And as someone who's used real nail guns, uh, you know, in construction and stuff like that, uh, they do, they can fire that fast. And it, it just, it feels better now. And I mean, you guys have to keep in mind, this isn't a gun that's meant to be like super crazy OP or anything. You're not meant to be taking out geared players with it. You know, this is for shooting down a couple animals, uh, going against someone with a bow or a crossbow, something like that. And it's a nice little change. Uh, I, I think it's been balanced quite nicely. If you guys also missed my previous videos, signs and beds are now repairable. Uh, that also counts the picture frames and the other ones you can buy, like the metal signs, shop signs, and stuff like that. That is just a nice little quality of life little thing. There, you can also now pick up a bed as long as you have tool cupboard access and a hammer in your inventory. You'll now see the pickup options, so you can go ahead and move your beds around, get rid of them, etc., etc., which is pretty nice there. The research bench was pushed today to have a change in cost of no longer requiring wood, but it now requires a little bit more metal fragments. But it, I mean, it, it just makes sense. No wood, a little bit easier there, which is kind of nice. Uh, when it comes to new items, we've got the chainsaw and the Spaz 12 shoddy which are pretty awesome and we got a new ammo type if you didn't see my video on that uh i tested them out on my test subject and good friend repug and uh yeah so we got that there also i it was late at night and i was tired and had been on a 12 hour plus work recording editing spree and i went ahead and said that said shotgun has a six round clip it's not a clip there's no clip in there. It, that's not how shotguns work typically. There are shotguns that you can put on like a mag or barrel uh, attachment or uh, not barrel as in like, I mean like a barrel mag, like a, you know, like a Thompson would have on it. Um, and there are some shotguns that actually have like, you know, an actual clip ma or magazine you can stick in them. But this isn't one. This one has, you know, your typical tube and the tube loads in the shotguns that's why you see the little shells get pushed in there so they're hanging out in there and blah 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 so i'm so sorry that i was tired and generalizing all of you hypocrites can put your pitch marks down but anyways i i just like arguing with you guys you guys are awesome i love all of you so anyways this thing has gotten a little bit of a buff since my last video it fires a little bit faster 
so it does less damage than the pumpy but it fires faster so if you spam it you can effectively do somewhere around 50 percent more damage just because of its fire rate so that's that there now we have the official of where it's going to be for now it's going to be in the helicopter and the bradley and airdrops rare chance rarer chance in the airdrops this however may change in the future as they continue to adjust loot tables on the subject of loot tables i know a lot of people are upset about the elite crates and i kind of agree finding a sweater or a snow jacket in an elite crate is kind of painful now those haven't been fixed but one thing that has been is the scientists now have a new loot table helk has asked people to give him feedback on how we think about it now there's chances of getting weapons from them which is really rare they have a little bit higher chance to drop the m92 pistol uh which is awesome so that's a little bit of a new way to get that and uh yeah so that's kind of some little changes there you'll see they're not just carrying junk pile stuff but we'll get back to the scientists here in a minute so we got the chainsaw chainsaw is our new awesome friend this guy as uh i have said before you come in here and it was 750 scrap to research that has been reduced to 250 which is much more reasonable chainsaws have a chance of spawning in the red toolboxes that spawn on junk piles with cars so that's where you can get this puppy here it requires a level two workbench the crafting recipe for this big guy is five high quals two gears and six blades so that has stayed the same there and that is fairly decent for honestly how quickly this thing gathers wood if you haven't seen already it uh my last video this thing is pretty awesome now you have to rev it up with left click it doesn't know to start up right away might have to do a couple pulls is this one defective there we go that was weird i uh, i've never had to take more than three so that was <laughs> that was a rare instance right there it just tears through trees and it's amazing uh it also tears through naked pretty well again you can go and check out my last video uh it does about like 12 per hit but its hit rate is super fast so you know it, it, it's pretty impressive on that scale now people are saying well how good is it for rating and the it right now as you can see it's deteriorating super fast and it's not really doing any damage it does a little bit better to walls but honestly not that great if you were to use it yourself on your own wall uh it it does a little bit better but you're gonna break the chainsaw before you get through the wall and Hulk said they may revisit it as a rating tool, but for now, stick to your flamethrower for destroying wooden doors. Uh, they just didn't want to give that another extra rating early tool. Now, a few of you asked, well, how well does it work on a cupboard? You'll see the chainsaw just broke already. And it did one damage. So, yeah, no, not a whole bunch going on right there. Now, of course, we do have the new ammo type which is the incendiary or dragon's breath dragon's fire rounds they're meant to be a little bit more of a deterrent as you can hear if you saw my last video they've got a little bit of a sound update and uh yeah they just kind of start a little fire there uh it's pretty effective on taking a cupboard down you'll see it's tearing it pretty much tears through the cupboard pretty well but i mean not a whole lot better than honestly any other shotgun will really do uh when it comes to damaging buildings uh, 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 you don't want to stand in that i'll tell you that for sure uh it's it's about eh, eh, you know about the same as any of the incendiary rounds oh uh, uh, and it, it tears through uh the heavy armor so incendiary has stayed true to that which is eh, what you would expect basically so that pretty much kind of covers all of the new items so far uh one other thing here before we get on to the scientists is you'll see they're still working on the hair so you can see the two comparison photos right here and here and uh yeah they're just kind of working on getting the hair to look a lot more natural and i think they're doing a good job on that uh the first picture looks a little bit weird first but uh the second one definitely everything looks pretty great so on to scientists scientists have now been added into the game officially they spawn on all servers 
unless it's disabled, of course, in the military tunnels now. And they've done a ton of work with the AI. They will now uh, go ahead and be a lot smarter. They're going to take cover better. They're not going to be killing each other. They're not going to be clipping through things and killing you from who knows where. The ones in the military tunnel are not going to leave the tunnel and just wander around the world. Uh, they have better pathing with their kind of uh, where they're going to go and uh, their patrol route. And they're going to cluster up less. And they're also not going to just kind of shoot into each other. They're going to go ahead and, you know, duck or move around each other to shoot at you. So uh, they're a lot more clever with that. Uh, their health has been bumped to 200. But I, have a, I think I saw a note where that may be reduced a little bit. Uh, we're just going to have to kind of see... How that goes but the other thing here is they added scientists that go around to junk piles so along the road there'll be scientists researching they have their geiger counters out they're checking out uh the junk piles and vehicles and stuff lying around on the sides and uh these are the guys who are gonna more or less have the pistols more often and as you can see there's a couple of them out over here so you know let's go take a little look at them right now we're wearing road sign and let's see what we can do I'm going to fire at them first with a bow, and let's see how bad or good this goes. The other thing that's cool is at night, they'll put away the Geiger counter and pull out flashlights, which I thought is super neat. So, oh, okay. Oh, there's that M29, or M92. So far, they're not really hitting me. Oh, we got one. Ooh, good, good headshot on that guy. Oh, we're out of arrows. Let's pull out that nail gun. Oh, he's running. Hey, you come back here. Like, got him. All right. So that wasn't too bad. Like I said, these guys are still being worked on. Their pathing isn't as advanced as the ones you will find in uh, the military tunnels. Looks like this guy had some pickaxes, so that's not too shabby. And let's go ahead and see what this dude had on him. What do you got here, buddy? Some flares and another pickaxe. All right, well, you know, nothing too, you know, super special, but not too bad either i would say so uh let's go ahead and i'm gonna cut here for a sec and we're gonna go jump over to the military tunnels and check them out a bit okay guys never mind uh it looks as if there is no military tunnel on this map i generated so we're not going to be doing that i'll leave that to your exploration we already checked out the road ones which is pretty much new the military ones have been enabled on official servers for a little while anyways so you probably already had some run-ins with them You'll just have to see uh, how you feel about the improvements and stuff like that. But uh, what I will end this video with, as you saw in the title, there has been some updates to the Chinook event, and uh, it's looking really good. Now, what prevented it from being in today's update was... Oh, this guy's just standing here. I don't... He's not... He's got his little Geiger counter out. All right, that was kind of fun. We we had to pause to do that for a second. Um, <laughs> and some flares. But yeah, so what's been taking it a little longer is Helk's actually working at the fact that it's going to be piloted by an actual AI. So that's going to take a lot of work. What that means is you'll see in the video here, uh, one of the short clips shows it actually being piloted. Uh, by implementing this, this means that it will be able to be piloted by us, by players. Now he said that's probably only going to stick to modded servers. Uh, I hope that's not 100% true. I, I hope we eventually do have aircraft, but Rust is in no state for that to actually be a thing yet anyways. So I'm sure that will come back into talks once we have the vehicles and stuff and boats and other things in the game first. So, but it will leave the potential that. So for a modded server, you could fly around in the Chinook helicopter. You could fly around in the regular heli. Uh, that's right. Helk said he's going to go back and once it's done for this one, he will implement all of that 
into the existing helicopter as well does that mean the bradley as well maybe who knows we'll just have to see how it goes but i'm very excited to see what people will do once that is available for people to mess around with so go ahead and enjoy watching those clips guys we'll see you next time don't forget to click that like button and that bell notification if you haven't already so that you don't miss the videos follow myself on twitter or in discord and you will not miss a video then we'll be back with our whenever rust add something cool videos and of course in a month from now we'll be doing our monthly update like today so thanks for watching guys have a good one